happiness in so many different ways. Some of it was positive and some of it wasn't, but it's a lot to put mm-hmm. on a young man at that age, but you just got to go through it and get through it. Well, I love that you are finally able to start paying your mom back. Like you said, you wanted to do, you started being, probably being able to help out a lot more and took a lot of stress off of her shoulders. Damn burger. Mama was proud. I mean, they call me that dude and they call her that mama. Cause that mama was pumped. She was like, <laughs> and that was like the greatest joy. That was the greatest joy in terms of what gift I was able to give someone that wasn't a purchase. It was just a presence. Um, The present I gave her of like, mama, I know people ridiculed you. I know people counted you out. You had two kids at the age of 19. People say it wasn't going to be you. You weren't going to be anything. And she wore that. And to just see her be able to dust that off and realize that all of her hard work had paid off in terms of what she created, realized its goals and its dreams because of her. Yeah, that was, Mm -hmm. that was the moment where I was like, it's all worth it. My family structure is so vital, important to me. Not only the one I grew up in, but the one I'm trying to create right now. Being a father and a husband, that's my mission in life right now. Emotional bag for me because I feel for her because of just what's happened, not just in the last couple of weeks from the Olympic trials, but the highs and lows. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you talk about that disparity, that's when you really have issue in life. It's uh, what they say it's better not to have than to have and lost. Mm-hmm. I'm from Compton. Let me give you this short story that my grandmother, who was uh, in Watts, California, and she moves from Watts, California to Compton, California. Mm-hmm. And my mother graduates from Compton High School, straight A student, but she had two kids by the age of 19, me being the youngest. And she moves from Compton, California to South Central Los Angeles, this little itty bitty apartment. And my parents were there to just support me, encourage me and navigate me through all the ills that we had seen in our own family, let alone in our community. I'm just the guy who's been through it. And now I'm in a world where I'm looking at people who haven't been through it. And therefore, it kind of shows in their rhetoric. The Migos had a song, Walk It Like You Talk It. (laughs) And I say, I think they got that song wrong, even though I love that song. It should be (laughs) Talk It Like You Walk It. And I hope the world takes notice. Hello? Too much truth. Hello? Too much truth. I cannot handle all this truth you're telling me right now. Wrong number. (laughs) Got (laughs) it. Got <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jose, your regular Joe Blow again, keeping an eye out and my ears open to talent and outstanding, moral, sane and prudent, real people who come to you on a consistent basis time and time again. You hear and see this gentleman and you see a genuine spirit who talks truth, no matter how strong it sounds. This is needed in our current times. Guys, keep exercising your rights to freely speak and expressing your opinion, no matter what side you're on. God bless, sir. Full salute. And thank you guys for your continued support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, do your research. And guys, don't forget, stay free. It ain't hard to tell. I excel, then prevail.